I'm so excited to be interviewing Amy Lombardo of True Nature Wellness and Confessions of a Warrior Woman blog today. Amy, I think it's absolutely hysterical that uh, we live in the same town and <laughs> we, we're Skyping one another, but that is the way it goes in this new world of technology. And I'm just, I feel blessed that we're able to do this. So thank you for, for granting me this interview. I'm so just excited about what you're doing and um, just uh, proud to know you. And um, so with that being said, um, I have a few questions for you, um, especially how this whole idea was birthed. Okay. Thank you for having me, Julie. Yes. Um, the Confessions of a Warrior Woman blog uh, has been in the works for a long time, but I, I got the courage to do it to start it a couple months ago. Um, the whole name, Confessions of a Warrior Woman, alludes to this idea of a woman allowing herself to reveal her vulnerability and see that that's the access point to her greatest strength, her warrior self, lies not behind her vulnerability, but within her vulnerability. Um, and uh, I grew up in a tribe of women. I'm the youngest of five girls. My mom had six sisters. So I was around a lot of very dynamic, powerful women my whole life. And then in my coaching and in my yoga teaching over the last 15 years, I got exposed to even more women, women from all over the world who also were their own, were warriors in their own right. And even though women uh, that I was working with are from literally from some developing nations and then working with high-end celebrities and everything in between, and no matter how different their stories were on the outside, I kept seeing recurring themes in ownership of strength and vulnerability and really taking that vulnerability in um, and utilizing it as a, a tool for personal growth and evolution. So this blog was really just my way of creating a platform to share what I was being exposed to through my work and my personal life in these amazing connections that uh, all women share and create a space where other women could connect to that too so they didn't feel so alone in their journeys. Absolutely. And uh, I think a lot of the issues that you're talking about are certainly foundational and universal. And I, I think back about my grandmother and, and my mother and and myself and what a beautiful display of, of spiritual evolution over generations of women and uh, we have just so much to learn from one another. What are some of the issues that you've been tackling so far on the blog? Well, it, it definitely holds a personal strain. Usually what you see on the blog is coming up in my life in some way or another. But some of the issues that we've covered so far are things like owning your negativity, uh, the parts of ourselves as women that we're taught to not uh, highlight or even acknowledge, things like anger, uh, sadness, grief, uh, th things that are just not attractive emotions. Uh, so one, one of our, our posts was on that. We looked at the poison of gossip and tearing down the walls that we're, we're taught to um, put up as women and instead create a sense of unity consciousness in our, our, our female tribe and support mm. each other in our journeys. Uh, we looked at overcoming perfectionism and, and the burnout syndrome that a lot of warrior women uh, get exposed to because they have a lot of passion and a lot of intensity and sometimes they don't rein it in and they find themselves feeling undernourished. So these are a couple of the topics that um, have come up. and. I, I'm never short of topics because it's either coming up in my life or somebody that I'm exposed to and it just, it, it really, I'm just supposed to get out of the way and, and take take in what um, the universe is telling me the next topic should be. And these are all just such important topics that very rarely get addressed because I think they do hit on that idea of vulnerability that you mentioned at the beginning and and so often I think women tend to hold up sort of a mask to one another to try to impress one another. And it, I mean, more so than I think with men, which is, you know, how they say women get dressed up uh, when they go out for each other, which I think is absolutely hysterical. But, um, you know, the, just breaking down the walls of 
of jealousy and competitiveness and all these issues that come up that really deconstruct the the fabric of of women getting together and supporting one another. I think what you're doing is just so powerful. And I'm wondering what your what your mission or, or long-term vision is. Um, well, I guess that's a two-part question. What's your mission for this project? The mission was really uh, on a personal level to fulfill a sole purpose that I feel is part of my path, which is to, um, to help women. and. The form that takes changes a lot, and uh, this is just the current form that's coming in now because I'm, I'm really feeling called that there's a, a global uh, capacity in our sisterhood, and I would like to expose more women to that because I, in my work, have had um, experience receiving great nourishment from connecting with women in other nations. And so one of my missions is to really break down these artificial barriers of, of differences and uh, create a, a space where women can connect um, uh, globally with, with mm -hmm. sisters, gain, gaining wisdom. Sometimes our sisters on the other side of the world hold just the bit of wisdom that we need and vice versa. Absolutely. Yeah. We're all, we're all so different, uh, but also very much the same. Um, so it sounds like you've been attracting people, women, uh, from all over the globe so far. Yeah, so far, you know, truthfully, I don't know all the countries because I don't, um, I don't have a way to track that in, in the emails, but, but I do know of um, women in Australia, um, Brazil, India, Singapore, Kenya, um, uh, Nigeria, Israel, I think I said that, um, Spain. Wow, that's so it's so powerful, Amy. And um, uh, wondering what what is your long term vision? Um, the vision, you know, it's a. I, I mean, I can throw my two cents in, but I really do want this to be a co created process. So um, I think other people are going to help me figure out what the vision is. Other people in the tribe, but but what I do see is it being a platform for a multitude of voices, not just mine, not just me being on a video every week, but we'll start to see um, videos of other women, interviews of other women, um, opportunities and platforms for women to start connecting with each other, maybe sponsoring each other. I don't necessarily mean financially, but sponsoring each other in terms of support. Uh, I see it as a place where a woman's activist energy meets her mystical energy, and they, they collide, and they make magical ignition happen. And I, I just know, and I, this is not something new, I'm not creating this, but I know that women are the leaders and the change agents of our future, and um, perhaps this will, this will play a role in, in helping prepare them for that role that they are stepping into as they awaken into their warriorship. Well, you certainly are bringing your yoga to the web camera. And I'm so deeply proud and honored to know you, Amy. And I just thank you so much for this wonderful work that you're doing to lift up women and unite them particularly. And um, I just look forward to many blog posts ahead and all the wonderful things that, that are going to be happening with Confessions of a Warrior Woman. And thank you again for this interview. And uh, maybe, maybe next time we can, we can meet uh, for, for tea or something uh, halfway in between the promenade at <laughs> Santa Monica. <laughs> that, would be, that would be great. You are most welcome. And thank you for, for all you're doing to help contribute to the, the tribe and for being our first interview on the blog, which, which is so important because you show women it's okay to be vulnerable and, and not put on a game face, but just show up as yourself. And, and uh, we all benefit from that, from you being the best you that you can be. Thank you for that. Yeah, it's easy to do whenever you feel supported. And um, so I thank you, Amy, for, for your continual support and love. And I know that this is just going to continue to shine out and affect many women. So thank you again. You are welcome. Rock on, sister. Namaste. Bye. Namaste. Ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>